Time for a quick tip for anybody using HitFilm 2 Ultimate or HitFilm plugins in After Effects. If you're working with an effect which generates 3D content, atomic particles for example, with a couple of steps you can link the effect to your 3D camera. Here I am in After Effects. I'll add atomic particles to this solid. I can play around with the settings to get an interesting shape. In AE you do get the particle placement controls, where you can adjust the position and rotation of the effect, but it isn't always convenient to adjust it this way. What you really want is for the effect to work directly with the actual 3D camera. However, if I add a 3D camera and then move around the scene, you can see the effect doesn't update. Here's the trick for having the effect interact properly with the camera. First, I'm going to add a new null. I'll switch this to 3D. Now, in the Atomic Particles controls, I'll set the Transform From option to the Null layer. This means that the Atomic Particle effect will take its transform data from the Null. Therefore, as I move the camera around the Null, which is set to 3D, don't forget, the Atomic effect interacts as you would expect. You can link the transform to any 3D layer, of course, but I tend to find Nulls the most useful as they work as invisible reference layers and don't get in the way of anything else. This trick works just fine for other 3D based effects, including 3D Extrusion, Gunfire, Sphere and Shatter. If I jump over into HitFilm 2 Ultimate, you can see that the same thing applies here. I'll add a point layer, set it to 3D, and then attach the Atomic Effects Transform to that point layer. We've seen a few reviewers and users overlook this feature, so hopefully this will help you guys get the most out of HitFilm's effects. I'm Simon Jones from hitfilm.com and many thanks for watching.